Hi guys, my name is Yopi and I'm the youth pastor at Shafa Stellenbosch. Uh, welcome to today's daily devotional. I want to start with reading a scripture from Ephesians 5 verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Um, and what I want to focus on today is that in this time of quarantine, in this time of uncertainty and fear that we are all in, um, we need to be wise, we need to redeem the time, and, and we really need to walk wisely um you know what an amazing time to be alive i really think that this is a remarkable time that we um, can be the church and that we can be alive um but how we are going to use our time will be um of utter importance um you know we ne we have to be very intentional with how we spend our time um i used to watch a lot of series and play a lot of video games and watch a lot of mu movies when i was younger and so easily we can you can get stuck in that you know you can try to fill yourself with all those kind of things so i'm not bashing it and i'm not saying it's wrong but so easily we can just go in a into a robot mode and you know just try to get our minds off what what is happening around us and just watch movies and stuff but i want to encourage you guys today and i want to say hey, set up a calendar make sure that you intentionally spend your time wisely so that you can equip yourself um, and, you know, everyone is trying to figure out how, what is happening and, you know, how long will this coronavirus thing last? And the last thing that I want to do is try to give answers. Um, but, you know, there's, there's one thing that we can be sure about. Um, and that is that as sons and daughters of God, there's a, um, a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace, something that is supernatural, something that our minds and our intellect cannot comprehend. Um, and that is something that we have access to. Um, and it's important because what we what we need right now as Christians is not a lot of mo a lot more information, but what we need is to, to intentionally fill ourselves with the Word of God. You know, we are being bombarded with a lot of fake news, a lot of negative news, especially, um, and a lot of news. You know, that is just that's that's just negative, um, and we can decide what are we going to do. With our time are we going to go on social media platforms facebook and instagram and all those stuff and you know read all those stuff or are we going to fill ourselves with the word of god are we going to actually put on the armor of god um so what we need is something that goes straight into the core of our being something that strengthens us from the inside and the only thing that can do that is the word of god and now we need to bombard our hearts and our minds with with the truth from god's words and that's what ephesians speaks about it says let's be wise and let's redeem the time because the days are evil you know jesus um uh, makes a clear contrast between his mission and the devil's mission um and Satan's plan for us is in complete opposition to what God's plan is for us. And we have to, in this time, believe this foundational truth. That Jesus came so that we can have life and have it abundantly. And that Satan came to kill, steal and destroy. Um, but, you know, we can stand in unwavering trust um, in God's faithful promises to us because he remains faithful. Um, but what I want to focus on is that it is our responsibility to align ourselves um, we actually actually have to make an intentional decision to spend time with God. Otherwise, before you know it, these, this time is is gone, and we have so many so much time. Um, but if we sit and watch movies and Netflix and you know just be a couch potato, then you're gonna regret that you didn't use this time to equip yourself. Um, so we cannot afford afford to to sit back at home and loaf, um, you know. And Satan has no legal right to come and kill, steal, and destroy, unless he persuades us to give our God-given power and authority that's been given to us to Him. Um, so as sons and daughters of God, let's use this time. Let's equip ourselves. Let's spend time in our small groups. Um, let's do Bible plans together. Let's keep each other accountable. Uh, what an exciting time to live in. Um, you know, and I, th I think a season like this is super important. This can be a training ground for all of, all of us to equip ourselves. Um, so let's redeem the time and let's walk wisely.